Welcome to Celebrity Republic, if you're a fan of all things entertainment, this is the channel for you. From the latest gossip to lifestyle videos and more, we've got it all. Hit that subscribe button now to join the Republic and never miss a moment of the action. On August 16, 1958, Madonna Louise Saccone was born in Bay City, Michigan, in the United States. She was the third of her family's six children. Her mother, Madonna Louise, was of French-Canadian ancestry, while her father, Silvio Anthony Saccone, was an Italian-American. When Madonna was just five years old, her mother passed away from breast cancer. This had a significant impact on Madonna and her siblings, as her engineer father was left to raise them alone. Growing up, Madonna was a strong student who attended Rochester Hills, Michigan's Rochester Adams High School. After attending the Catholic elementary schools St. Frederick's and St. Andrews, she participated in cheering in a number of extracurricular activities. Madonna developed a passion for dancing and music while she was in high school and she frequently participated in talent showcases at her school. She was awarded a dance scholarship to attend the University of Michigan after graduation, but she left in her second year to travel to New York City and pursue a career in dance and music. 1979-1983, career beginnings, rock bands, and Madonna Madonna began a romantic relationship with guitarist Dan Gilroy in 1979. Soon after they first met, she was accepted for an audition to perform in Paris as Patrick Hernandez's backup singer and dancer. She spent her three months with Hernandez's group performing, and in the month of August 1979, she left for Tunisia. Gilroy lived and practiced in an abandoned synagogue in Corona, Queens, before Madonna moved in. Madonna played drums, guitar, and sung for her first band, The Breakfast Club, which they established together. Madonna had her acting debut in the low-budget independent movie A Certain Sacrifice, which wasn't published until 1985, while she was still in the band. She also spent a brief period of time working as a coat check girl at the Russian Tea Room. Madonna and Michigan-based drummer Stephen Bray, quit The Breakfast Club in 1980 and started the group Emmy and the Emmys. They rekindled their passion and relocated to Manhattan's music building. In November 1980, the two started writing songs together and made a four-song demo tape. But, Madonna quickly made the decision to market herself as a solo artist. Madonna secured a contract with Gotham Records in March 1981, and Camille Barbone, who headed Gotham Records and the music building, served as Madonna's manager from March 1981 until February 1982. Madonna frequented bars and clubs in an effort to convince DJs to play her demo. She started dating Danceteria DJ Mark Kamens when he became interested in her music. Kamens set up a meeting between Madonna and Seymour Stein, the head of Warner Bros. Records subsidiary Psy Records. Madonna agreed to a deal that included three singles with the possibility of an album. Her first song, Everyone, which was released in October 1982, was produced by Kamens. Madonna gave the song its first live performance at Danceteria in December 1982. In January 1983, she performed Everyone on Dancin' on Air for the first time. She performed in nightclubs in the UK in February 1983 to promote the record, Burning Up, her second single was released in March 1983. On the Hot Dance Club songs list published by Billboard magazine, both singles peaked at number three. Madonna was dating artist Jean-Michel Basquiat at the time, and they shared a Soho flat together. Diego Cortez, a curator of art who had managed some punk bands and co-founded the Mud Club, was introduced to her by Basquiat. Cortez was asked by Madonna to manage her, but he turned her down. Once the singles were a success, Warner hired Reggie Lucas to produce Madonna, her self-titled debut album. However, Madonna was unhappy with the finished songs and didn't like Lucas's producing methods, so she made the decision to look for more assistance. She asked Funhouse's resident DJ, John Jellybean Benitez, to aid in completing the album's production, and a romance developed as a result. Benitez produced Holiday, her first single to reach the top 10 internationally, and remixed the majority of the tunes. The album debuted on the Billboard 200 at number 8 in July 1983 after its release. Borderline and Lucky Star, two top 10 hits on the Billboard Hot 100 came from it. Madonna's new manager, Freddie Demon, set up a meeting for her with director John Peters in the fall of 1983 and he requested her to portray a club singer in the love story Vision Quest. Over her career, Madonna has been embroiled in various controversies. Many of the notable debates include, Madonna has been under fire for blasphemy and showing disrespect for religion in her music videos, live performances, and concerts. Religious organizations objected to the usage of Catholic imagery in her 1989 music video 
Like a Prayer, and her 2006 Confessions Tour. When she performed while carrying a cross, sexual controversy, Madonna has long been renowned for her obscene and suggestivistage presence. Her 1992 book Sex, which featured graphic images of Madonna, caused controversy and was outlawed in many nations. Controversy surrounding adoption. In 2006 and 2009, Madonna adopted two children from Malawi, which caused a great deal of debate. Her popularity and fortune, according to some, were utilized to get over Malawi's adoption rules. Madonna has come under fire for allegedly stealing cultures in her music and performances. For instance, her 1990 Vogue music video and performance were cited as an example of how dance culture had been appropriated. Political dissension. Madonna has stirred much debate by frequently expressing her political opinions. She received controversy for holding out a fake bomb on stage during her 2019 Eurovision performance and for remarks she made regarding President Donald Trump at the 2017 Women's March. Ultimately, Madonna has experienced controversy throughout her career, and the entertainment business still finds her to be divisive. About $860 million United States dollars is thought to be Madonna's current net worth. Yet, depending on a number of variables, including investments, business transactions, and market conditions, net worth can change. One of the most successful musicians of all time, Madonna has also established her own fashion and skincare lines, performed in a number of films, directed a number of others, and added to her riches. Join the ultimate celebrity fan community by subscribing to this channel. Celebrity Republic. Get the latest news, interviews, and exclusive content from your favorite stars all in one place. Don't miss out. Subscribe now.